All right, so we got a crank no start here, Ford Ranger with a WE engine. All right now we gain, what was that, 11, 12.11 volts off his battery. All right, so we got a crank no start here, Ford Ranger with a WE engine. All right now we gain, was that 11 12.11 volts of his battery right so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna make sure the primer pump primes this up real good right customer brought some glow plugs and asked us to change it out basically he diagnosed it on his own so that's what we did we changed the glow plugs he said he was getting a hard start so we're gonna go and see what else we can do to get this vehicle start up right so let me just show you how the glow plugs are. That's the ones that came out. They ain't looking too bad, but he insists that he needs to change out. We did check to see if we can current go into the glow plugs. All right, so but he insists to change it out. So let's see if we could diagnose why he's getting this hard start. Right, as you can see the vehicle cranks but like it I want to start but it's not so the next thing we're gonna do is you see the voltage here is 12 volts so we're gonna recommend that he change his battery out All right we got the primed up but we're gonna do some other checks real quick right um we tried to scan it but we wasn't able to All right so the first thing I like to do when we have a no a crank no start on these diesel um, vehicles all right, this carry the WE as I said. We're gonna clean this mass airflow out. All right, we're gonna take it out, take it off, make sure the key is off, and we're gonna clean it out. It's kind of hard to, yeah. Okay, just zoom in. All right, so you see that resistor there sensor that's the IAT, and the one inside is for the that month of the mass, right? And you can't see nothing in there, that means it's really dirty. So, we're gonna clean that up. Right, we're gonna check the air filter, right? Clean the map. We're gonna try to start this vehicle again while the voltage goes back up. As I said, I'm gonna make we're gonna make a recommendation that the battery be replaced. Able to clean that sensor off, right? Let's see if we could get some pictures down there. You see in the resistors down there, right? And we're gonna see how the filter is. Filter is filthy. Yep. So how they expect the vehicle to breathe. So we're gonna make a recommendation that you change that also. The next thing we're gonna do is clean the map sensor out. Alright, so we're gonna remove this map. Real quick, this also the biometric sensor. Let's see how cruddy that is when he takes it out. So, you see what's going on there. Alright, so this is the map sensor. As you can see, condition the map sensor is. The sensor broke off because it wasn't in a good condition. And this is the, let me see if I get a, a zoom in. Look how all that crap was built up on this resistor. So, how it's going to read properly. Alright, so that's to tell you how much crud in there because. What be what holds that sensor is basically a, a small green o ring, and it came right off. All right, so with the map area cleaned off, we're gonna pop this in until we could get another one. All right, once the resistor didn't damage, you're supposed to be in good shape, but we're gonna inform the customer that he needs one. So, with the sensor back in the mass airflow clean right we're gonna prime this up we gotta see about that primer pump too it could be that the pressure is not holding within the the reel all right so we're gonna let's prime this up real good i'm in 12.7 which ain't good still so i'm gonna put my jump pack on it 
to make sure we get proper voltage on this side. Alright, so it's 12.7 right now on the battery. We're gonna hit the, the boost pack and we're gonna watch the voltage goes up. Go ahead, start. <laughs> This is all the excess fuel that we got that was in the engine that's gonna burn out. Alright, so right now we're getting 13 point, this is 12.8. Alright, I'm gonna take off my jump pack. And you see this battery is not good. Alright, so we can do a voltage drop on the from the alternator to the battery and all that good stuff. But most likely this battery is not good and it's not taking the charge. So, we're going to inform the customer, you got to replace the battery and the air filter. 